Hello guys, and um, I know I haven't made a tutorial in quite a while, uh, so I decided to make this one. Today, <coughs> we're going to be working on um, on putting commands in different class files, because right here I've got loads of commands, although they're all the same, and um, and if you have loads of commands, and if they're all really long, instead of just one line, this is going to get really confusing. So, what we're going to learn how to do is to put each of these commands into a separate class. For example, this this whole thing is one class. We're going to learn how to put it in a complete different class. So, what you do is you select all of your on command method and just delete it so it, you've only got your on enable and on disable and also you can go ahead and delete this player thing um, so once you've done that then what you want to do is delete your unused imports there we go okay um, so now what you want to do is you just want to add a new class basically um, now here down here you can see it says com.netbolter.myclass that's the package that we made at the beginning um, now packages are just to organize classes now this package has got to be something dot something dot something so this isn't this is kind of just like your main package if you like but the rest of the packages can be called whatever you want so uh, let's just make a new package called commands and that's where we're gonna put all our command classes because that'll just neaten it up a bit so we don't have loads of um, commands in there and so just make a new class and literally all you have to do is just call the uh, class whatever you want the command to be it can be anything but is just easier so let's just do a heal command again uh, and once you've got this what you want to do is you want to go back into this and basically you've got to import the that package because if it's in a separate package then you have to import it basically so import uh, the name of the package commands commands dot and then heal. Um, so now we've got that in there. We're going to make a new method called command handler. And that's basically when it starts up, it's going to grab all of the commands and then it's going to do all of this. So now we need to make that method. So public void, public void command. And okay, now basic. So basically, a method is where you write where you want it to happen, and then so when it enables it, it will automatically go down here, run this, and then run this. So that's what that is. And so basically, another thing we need to do is set an executor. Uh, which is where you set the commands and stuff and instead of writing like all the stuff here like bucket dot bucket dot uh, bucket dot get server dot set uh get oh I've forgotten that <laughs> oh yeah um Ah, here we go. Okay, so get server dot get plugin command, 
and then in here you put the command so heal dot x no set x why isn't it there? I haven't done this in a long time. <laughs> Ah, uh, there, it's there. And then typing in the executor, which is, like, the cut, the class. So, new heal. Okay, so, yeah. Instead of writing out all of that, which basically says, okay, we have this command in this class. So instead of writing out all of that, every single command we want to make, we're going to make a method that does that for us called set executor. So just go ahead and go public void set set executor. And we had two things. We had um, the uh, the command we needed. So let's make a string called command. And we also had an executor. So it's called a command executor. Let's see. Okay. So import command executor and then go uh, just retype that so bucket or get plug in command command dot set executor c okay so basically what that does is it says um now instead of typing out all of this for every single one we just go set executor and then we go the command that we want so heal and then we put uh, the class name so new heal and that will give us an error because heal doesn't implement command executor. So what you'd have to do is go back in here and implement command executor. But uh, we'll do that in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Sorry about the little pause when I worked out how to do this because uh, I've done it in quite a long time. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to. And thanks. Bye.